Hawks represent all my island people say We people celebrating only from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling Now we're stopping, nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining we partaking, we represent the cause of the ones falling. We resemble true art when we bust the line for the rabbits from the heart. No, Previously on Delos, the crew leaves Russia Ampat and set sail for the islands of Ternate. We have an equator crossing ceremony and go for a naked swim in the deep blue. We arrived in Ternate. And to be honest, I didn't have too high expectations. Mostly because our sketchy experiences were wrong, our last big Indonesian city. But I couldn't have been more wrong. Ternate really took us by storm. The people here are absolutely amazing. So we threw our plans out the window and extended our visas. We felt really excited about exploring land after our four days at sea. So we loaded up Maggie and took the short commute into the public pier. Our first impression of Tanate was really clean streets and super friendly people. After eating nothing but canned food for a while, we were keen to check out the supermarket. Yeah, we'll get them at the market. Oh, yeah. Well, is it? Much cheaper at the market? I think it's more than cheap there. We met Al just a few minutes earlier. He was super cool and offered to be our translator and show us around his city. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to the market. You can find there, right? Yeah. We're here at the market. And yeah, it looks like a pretty extensive selection. So we're gonna go for some fresh vegetables, which is very exciting. Let's go. We've been out of fresh fruits and vegetables for about two weeks now. So this market was a real treat. Yeah, Whole bag of tomatoes for one dollar. One dollar, yes. <laughs> We were blown away by the friendliness of the people, especially the huge smiles of the children. <laughs> Mr. Al, tell us about the market. Yes. And now I'm here in Tanata City. I'm local people here. I'm original people here. So I would like to invite all of you around the world. Did you hear my voice? You can come here. Very nice. <laughs> I'm like the joker, comedian. No, you're our tour guide. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. Tour guide, right? Yeah. Good one. This amazing night market was on every day. We gorged ourselves in some awesome local food, and it was dirt cheap too. Tuck into this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like the flavor. How much did that corn cost? That was about 40 cents. <laughs> hey, send me a piece of that corn for later. For later. Mm hmm. It's bread, fried in butter, toasted with chocolate chips in it. What? And then smothered with condensed milk. Look at that goodness. 
about. Nice station. Oh man. That's so good. I like it. I like it. It's <laughs> <laughs> the perfect mix of all flavors in the world. <laughs> After stuffing ourselves silly, Al invited us to our first Indonesian cultural event, a rap competition. We weren't quite sure what to expect, but sounded totally cool. Tenata never failed to surprise us. What a sweet ride home. The next night, Al and his friends picked us up and took us for a bussy ride through the city. It was really an honor to come and speak with these students, who formed this English club outside of normal school. They learned most their English from movies and music, so I think they just wanted to sit down and have a chat with us. And of course, pose for a few pictures. The next morning, we were up for some more adventures. The day before, we met some new friends, and Chris offered to be our personal guide for the next few days. We're driving around with Chris in his nice air-conditioned car. Chris is our new friend. <laughs> Took us out to the discotheque last night. We drank a fair bit of whiskey. Taking a couple of swigs every hour or so. And we're driving around Ternate. <laughs> having a great time in the air conditioning. Yep, I was definitely not feeling too good. <laughs> yeah. The beach mansion. We were at our friend's house we met last night from uh, the discotheque who uh, gave us so much whiskey 
<laughs> but uh, <laughs> we had a pretty big night. So we're a little hungover today, but we're hanging out, chilling, relaxing. At the beach mansion. At the beach mansion, which is really cool. We're trying some local food here. This is prepared from boiled cassava, is what we have gathered. And it's actually quite a delicious sauce. It reminds me of uh, Elmer's wood glue. Mm -hmm. And then apparently you're not supposed to chew it. Don't chew. You just put it in. Mm -hmm. let it slide down and your swallow throat. and let it slide down like an oyster. <laughs> it's actually quite good. It turned out that this was the club owner's house, who spied Brady from the VIP section, trading shirts with some random dude on the dance floor. I just love meeting people in strange ways like that. Nothing excites us like a free buffet. The food was incredible, so we stuffed ourselves silly. the guest of honor, who happened to be the government officials, all had to sing karaoke. It's kind of a big deal here. And as the foreign guest of honor, we weren't excluded from the karaoke craziness. So Phoebe took one for the team. <laughs> Day, Chris had even more exciting adventures for us, so we jumped in his sweet ride and headed up the volcano. Hello, Mister. Hi, Mister. Airport. Go, Chris! Go, Chris! Go, 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 go! go, go, go. Oh. Oh. Get out, we get out, get out, walk. Get out. Yeah. How come we got out of the car? Because we didn't go fast enough. Up the steep hill. Keep going. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. go. Where are we? Hi. I'm Chris. <laughs> so welcome to Kadatu Ichi. Kadatu Ichi is like a small house of the Sultan. So right in the edge of the Sultan village, you're gonna see a whole city. It's really, really cool one. It's amazing view. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> Wherever we went, the people were so sweet shaking our hands, taking photos with us. We felt so welcome everywhere. It turns out that Chris worked for the Indonesian tourism department. He made it his personal mission to show us a hell of a time. Mission accomplished, Chris.
and you can even see Dallas from up here. It was our last day in Indonesia, and Chris had a special treat for us. A ceremony at his mosque. We're gonna go see a good sacrifice. We have to wear our finest. Big Muslim day. This is probably the hottest we've ever been. Definitely hotter than Solomon's, I think. It's so hot. I tried to put on a pair of pants and like sweat dripping through them. There are so few tourists in Ternate, so people actually pulled over to take pictures of us Hello. while we waited for Chris in the blistering heat. This festival of sacrifice is one of the biggest Muslim holidays. On this specific day, the people that have a little bit more money donate a cow or a goat to the mosque. The community then comes together to butcher the animals and the meat gets distributed to the people that need it the most. That's interesting, yeah? Fascinating. It's good to see though, right? If you're, gonna, if you're gonna eat the meat, you have to be able to see where it comes from. This is my first time as well. Yeah. But it's good, it's good it's to really see. good for you to see how they kill exactly. the animals. The, the, what you eat every day. Yeah. Everybody just got one ticket. Just for a very poor person, and also for the widows. And everybody coming here, just uh, giving the ticket to the community. And we've got uh, one bucket of kids. So this is the list of the people who will receive one bucket of the meat. Yeah, just a mix. I don't know what, exactly what emotions I'm feeling. The meat is specifically going to people, the poor people who really can't afford much food. And I don't know, the cycle of it is, I can understand that. But yeah, it's pretty to see. Do you think yes or almost? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's very strange to see. Like, I just thought to myself, you know, we we eat this meat all the time, no problem. Like, it's in every restaurant. Like, you know, no big deal. And if I can eat it and I can't see it being killed, then that's wrong, you know. So I was like, I need to, I need to see it. It's a huge animal and like, you feel kind of really bad for it, but then it just gets tied up and then dragged over to the little pit and it's just, just one swift motion and it's, you know, it's part of their culture, it's part of their tradition and it, I think that's respectful. I wanted to see it. We said goodbye to Chris and it was time for us to leave Ternate. What an amazing two weeks. There were massive currents in this anchorage. A few boats had already dragged, so we had put out the second anchor for some peace of mind. Ternate doesn't want us to leave. Our anchor is f***ing stuck on something really gnarly. Our secondary anchor. Our secondary anchor. So, we were safe, but we kind of f***ed ourselves. And now I get to go for a nice dive in the anchorage. Three minutes. Three minutes. And then, let loose all the slack, start the motor up, put her in gear. We'll see if we can unpick this shit. 
Ease heaps and try and stay right over where it's caught. And hopefully they can untangle it. Or tell us how to drive around it. Oh yeah. It was just wrapped around a the pony pretty bad. Okay, you can drive now. It took us about two hours to unfold the anchor. Guys, good mission. Probably the worst one we've ever had to do. Yeah, it is. Dante didn't want us out of here. Up next, we set sail for the Philippines. We made it to the Philippines! Woo! We tie up to a dock for the first time in months. End up at a drag show and explore the big city of Davao. I thought it was a wet it's dog really smell at first, but no, we are not close to the Amazon, baby. <laughs> we are in Indonesia. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs>